All right. So today was a really interesting and fun day in beekeeping. I got called out because one of my hives was swarming. And on that hive, you, might, you could see that there was a huge cluster of bees. And I went ahead and I captured that, that cluster and that queen. And I also opened up the hive and I found two other queens inside the hive. So they were ready to swarm again a couple more times at least. So this is an interesting, an interesting look. You can tell, if you ever wondered, is a queen made it or not? You can tell pretty easily. You can get a good idea by taking a look at how interested the bees are in in the queen. So I've got her caged and you can see a very very distinct difference in the way they're treating one queen and the other. So these are all bees from the same mother colony and you know, these hives aren't organized yet because I just captured them. But you can see this is a queen cage right here and they are all over this queen. I mean, they are just, they cannot leave her alone. Look at that, they are just all over her. And they just, they just can't wait to get her out of there. So that means to me, that says that she's producing lots of pheromones and she's been mated and she's ready to go. Now, if we compare that behavior to the other box right next door, Right next door, we have the exact same mother colony that I took bees from. We look right next door, and again, remember the same exact mother colony. And we look at how they're treating, how they're treating the queen cell, uh, the caged queen. Yeah, I know these are shorts. These are short frames. They're just about all I had today to fill the space. You look at this colony. Same exact bees removed from the same mother colony. And look. They're ignoring this queen. They could care less. It's like she's not even there. To me, that tells me that this queen has not yet mated. So we'll need to get her out of that cage and allow her to mate. Fascinating difference in the behavior of the bees that were captured in the same mother colony on the same day. And I just split them up into two different boxes. And they really could care less about this one queen. They're ignoring her, but the other queen, they're all over her. And that means she's mated, and this one's not. So this bee box needs to go back out into a bee yard where it can mate. And this one, this one's ready to go into, into a real colony. Fascinating difference. Thanks for watching.